नमस्कार मैं विजय आप देख रहे हैं लोकल न्यूज ऑफ इंडिया गांव के गोद दिल्ली तक भारत में पहली बार यह खेल इंट्रोड्यूस हुआ है जो ओलंपिक और एशियन का जाना माना खेल है माना जाता है कि भारत के गांव की ताकत और रोविंग फेडरेशन की टेक्निक मिला करके आने वाले समय में एशियन और ओलंपिक में अलग अलग पद को लाकर भारत की गरिमा बढ़ा सकती है सबसे पहले तो आपको ढेर सारी बधाई इस पहले सफल आयोजन के लिए Uh, we are very happy to have introduced this coastal rowing in the Goa National Games, and uh, although it has to be played only in the sea, by the sea, with the waves, if the rivers have similar conditions of waves and uh, a lot of water, it can be recreated in uh, in states where there is no ocean. Like in Uttar Pradesh, it can be done in Ganga. and if you go to some other interior state like madhya pradesh it can be done in big rivers there not necessary that it has to come to an ocean it can recreate and you can train there and then finally when it happens and if it does in a beach easy for them to acclimatize and start the champion so how can you feel when you introduce this game into india in this especially this 37th national games we are extremely happy and thankful to the goa national games organizing committee who agreed to introduce this event in going calendar because we were pitching for uh, an event like this for a very long time and we are very thankful to the goa national games organizing committee to introduce this championship in national games yeah. so how you are sure like your players will be having the techniques to compete olympic and other games the technique for flat water uh, classic rowing and uh, coastal rowing are similar but the boats are different the boats for coastal rowing are very big and the buoyancy tanks which hold air so that it doesn't topple over in the ocean is a little different and the boats are heavier other than that the rowing is the same anybody who is in flat water can easily come to coastal also There's so what do any problem so what do you suggest uh, the entire federation the players to learn and uh, be ready for olympics frankly this event has been introduced in the olympics now and world over we are slowly moving towards coastal from flat water because that needs a lot of infrastructure a lot of money to hold in any big city so they are not able to take this event to big cities and uh, introduce rowing in its traditional form this is relatively very easy to hold all we need is a few boats and uh, installation on the shore so all states must slowly prepare themselves move from they can definitely continue flat water it's not going to be stopped but they can move from flat water to coastal in due course of time so how many state associated with federation now as per current date you are asking me how many participated how many, no no not not participated how many states are having the federal chapter like your federation chapter uh, in any your body state body Yeah. The rowing federation is a body. We are having 31 uh, federations, uh, 31 members in our federation. From all states. Uh, from affiliated to us, mm -hmm. 31 number. And uh, out of that, right now Goa has these boats. Other states are in the process of buying the boats. In due course, they will buy the boats. Sure. So, so uh, like the peoples and the participants who win the gold, bronze, and silver. so they they have the happy deepavali so what you say for uh, his family her family actually they should be very proud and uh, they should be extremely proud that they came to goa and won the medal also championships so happy diwali to all so as per federations like other federation try for government policies to enroll like jobs and other incentives after winning the medal so how roving federation is suggesting to government of india or other states government to create a policy for roving uh, okay national sales now that you have come to this topic the government must very seriously consider reducing the gst component as the idst component on import of goods right now all our equipments are imported it's not made in our country so when we import the equipment we pay 10% customs duty 28% igst and 3% cess which works out to a lot of duty to be paid before we get the equipment in the hands of a federation or a club the government must very seriously consider and reduce it for sports purposes now we are treated as a luxury yacht it's coming under a category where uh, luxury yachts and uh, luxury boats are all 
classified. Our classification has to be different for sports. That's number one. Number two is wherever possible, all our winners must be accommodated in jobs, in educational institutions for their uh, prowess and victory in the races which we are conducting. So it will go a long way in encouraging them and getting more people into our sport. Thank you. Good luck for next uh, Olympic and other games. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thanks.